include everything. So today we're going to talk about how and why my channel got me my last two jobs. So for those of you who don't know, I basically started my channel about a year and nine months or so ago, uploading my very first Ruby tutorial on Codecademy. And from the get-go, the channel was kind of a two or three prong, uh, kill bird with two stones sort of thing, where I wanted to have a channel for obvious like financial reasons. I'd love the residual income. Matt, Engineer Truth, is one of my best friends, and he's doing very well at that time and much better now. But um, I saw his success. I wanted to emulate that. Two, I wanted to use it as a, uh, as a way of getting better. And three, I wanted to use it as a video portfolio. And that was really my goal when I started the channel. And I have to say, I think it was very successful in all three. Um, maybe not so much the money side, but it ended up giving me a lot of financial value in terms of jobs. And so how did I get my first job from YouTube? And to put this in perspective, when I got hired at my very first job, I was a... Um, full-time computer science student working part-time as a delivery driver at Domino's. I also was doing some freelance work where I was p picking up clients that way. I was also unemployed for a while. My girlfriend was paying all the bills. Um, you know, God bless her soul. And, um, you know, I had a bunch of odd jobs doing physical manual labor. Um, just being uh, doing everything I could to bring money in. So my, my financial situation was drastically different. And where I was in my life a year and about, I guess about five months ago was when I took that second job, or two jobs ago, rather. Um, my previous job, there we go, my previous job. And at that time, the reason I was able to get that job, which I went from a delivery driver to the role as a technology trainer at a um, software company where they wrote student information system software, was because of my YouTube channel. It's not the only reason, but it was a major reason in, as to why I got hired and I was told so. So the role that I was applying for was one in which they were looking for someone who knew software and also could create technical training materials videos. And so I had a coding channel and put this in perspective, my subscriber count was five or 600 at this point at the date I got hired. And it, I showed my interest in coding through, through my channel, I also showed um, my video and editing skills, which are great resources that I can put on there. So a lot of times people are like, how do I create How do I create experience without actually having experience? Well, when you're talking at least on video editing software and the ability to create videos and the ability to show that you can code, when, it's, when you have video proof that you can do all three of those things, it's very helpful in creating that resume. So I went from being a delivery driver with no benefits part-time work, barely making any money at all to a, um, a role that at, at the time was very uh, financially much better. I was, it was like 22 an hour was the, what I was getting paid, full benefits. So I covered my medical and dental. Um, I also had a 401k, all these sort of things that were, you know, big adult boy jobs, if you will. Now, how did, that was my first job, 500 subscribers. I think I had like 180 videos up, 200 videos up and just kicking out these Code Academy tutorials as fast as I can in free code camp as well. Now, fast forward to my big, my real job, my current job, my big boy job, because I wanted to be a developer, right? That was that was kind of the, the main end goal, uh, one of the three. I wanted to become a developer and I was gonna use YouTube as my video portfolio to help me do that. And that's what it did. And it's not hypothetical or anything like that. That's exactly what it did. The hiring, the, the individual who I work with, the coworker of mine that I work with, he, he the way that he decided that I was a good fit, and I talked about this a little bit in uh, how to add resume experience on LinkedIn without any experience, basically, was with uh, my videos. He watched my videos. He said, hey, I think I can work with this guy. He seems he's he seems competent at the very least. And he uh, I'm after watching some of his videos, I can actually tell that he knows what he's talking about. And this was how my channel helped me get not one job and then two jobs. And my second job, pay, I don't, I don't want to say how much it paid, but it pays significantly more than my last job. And uh, the resume experience is invaluable in itself. But this is how I was able to get, get uh, two jobs. And it was all because of YouTube. Granted, I still had to have the skills. I was able to work on those skills through YouTube and various other skills like video editing, uh, 
uh, photo editing. I got a, a, you know Adobe Captivate, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro. I ended up gaining more skills. And granted, it didn't get me my developer job, but it did get my foot in the door to work with developers in a software company where I could get somewhat relevant experience and hopefully work my way up. Now, that's not what I did. I ended up deciding to leave and accept a role elsewhere. But that was kind of the idea when I accepted that role. And I had to, I did make a, a big decision to stop going to school and decide if I want to uh, resume that at a later date. But YouTube in itself was the platform that helped me get my career started and got me my last two jobs, which I am very happy about that. And so the kind of the point of this, um, it's not to tell you drop out of school and just chase your dreams or anything like that. <laughs> so don't, don't do that. Um, the point is to realize that there are other avenues to get, re get to get experience, if you will, that make you stand out. That isn't traditional uh, in terms of just, I have a degree, hire me. It is, hey, I started a company this is what I did, or I started, this is my website, this is what it covers, or I started a podcast, or I started a YouTube channel. Um, kind of as Simple Programmer said in our interview a while back, going through the back door. Getting creative with your resume experience, not lying, but getting creative. All the skills that I had, I got from my YouTube channel, I bettered myself in a direction, I continue to do so. And um, kind of, some of these things may not occur to people, and that's, like, that's really why like mentorship I think is a, a really important thing um, and a lot of people don't have that and that's kind of what I want these sort of videos to be is a little bit of mentoring and not theoretical stuff not like oh it'd be great if you did this but of my actual life experience of me saying this is what I did this is what worked do with it what you will and so that's my that's my little speech about how YouTube ended up helping me get two jobs not one but two and uh, got my career started for me as a developer and how I'm very thankful about that and it's part of uh, the support I get from you guys that kind of kept me going when I was getting one to zero subscribers a day much better now than that very happy with it as always guys thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to uh, join our Facebook group code tech and caffeine the link is in the description below if you like what I do and you want to support me you can at patreon.com slash coding tutorials 360 I'll see you in the next video and as always if there's something you want me to talk about leave it in a comment below and we'll see if I can do a video about it thanks hey guys thanks for watching the video if you're interested in coding bootcamp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching